Are you thinking about becoming a designer this year? Don't do it! I've compiled the five main reasons why you shouldn't do it and here they are. Reason number one, it's too crowded. Thousands of senior and mid-level designers were fired last year, which means that you as a junior now need to compete with people with significantly higher skill than yours. And sure, they're also more expensive than you, but still, for many companies, they're gonna be a better and faster choice. There is a lot to learn to be a good enough designer to get hired, and there is way too much information to learn from. There are countless books, courses, Instagram posts, and YouTube videos, and many of them come from people with absolutely no experience. They're just content creators, not designers. So there is a big chance that you're gonna learn from people that don't really know what they're doing, and you're gonna waste a lot of time. That's gonna make it even harder. Reason number two. Design is pretty boring. A typical day of a designer is just drag and dropping the same components onto the artboard over and over and then applying auto layout to them. You are hoping to solve some problems, make some creative, innovative things, forget about it. There is only enough money for the bare minimum. So drag and drop the same buttons all day and shut up. In some bigger companies, you will work on a single feature for a year or more, and then, a day before release, you'll realize that somebody decided that it's not really needed anymore and they just deleted it. Also, most small and medium-sized companies don't do research anymore, so if you're hoping to be creatively solving problems of the users, nah, that's not gonna happen. Number 3. It's heavily optimized. As I mentioned before, we now have components, UI kits, and entire flows to just drag and drop. There is less work necessary, so there is less people needed overall. And even if you get the job, you're just gonna be a Figma drag and dropper, not really a designer. But hey, at least you're gonna have some cool stickers on your laptop, and people at a cafe won't really know that you're not doing anything creative. Lower cost of production is also more important than any of your ideas. The priority will always be cheap to code, not great to design. And it's likely the developers will butcher your design anyway with poor execution and there won't be any time and money for quality assurance, so nobody will care. It will go live, badly aligned and pretty ugly, and then people will think that you designed it that way. Reason 4. AI. Since everything is a design system now, and entire flows get copied, at some point companies will introduce AI models that you're gonna train by drag and dropping those components into flows, and at some point, once you train them enough with your own mind, they're just gonna replace you. This job has become so repetitive and so boring, that most companies are gonna just need one senior designer to overlook what AI is generating, and that's gonna be it. So if you start learning right now, you might be just in time to train the AI that's gonna replace you for the next few years, and then you'll be out of the job. Oh, and the AI probably won't even say thank you. And reason 5. Dark patterns. Companies want to optimize every part of the process, and obviously they also want to make more money. So they will force you to do dishonest, deceptive, and pretty ugly things just to trick the users to spend more. A pop-up window that's hard to close? Sure. A button that misleads people into paying a little more than they need to? Of course. A fake message about low availability to force someone to buy right now? Obviously. Plain lies and misdirection? Yeah. And don't forget about confirm shaming. The user doesn't want the pro plan? Just make fun of them and say that they're maybe not smart enough to be a pro user. So yeah, some stats are saying that the industry is actually growing. But in reality, if you're thinking about starting right now, from scratch, from zero, from no experience, then you really need to be aware that it's gonna be extremely difficult. There are ways around each of these five points though, and I will share them next week. So it's not that we're all completely doomed and there is absolutely no way. It's just a little bit more difficult, so you'll have to work a little bit harder and focus on the right things to overcome that. It may be pretty hard to have a beautiful day after you've seen this, but try, okay?